And it's me. I got back from the thrift shop a while ago. And WWE back then it was WWF WWE Warzone and the games both work and and, and Mayhem they're both wrestling games the all it is looks dusty and it has this little pink stain up here <sighs> but it was worth finding And another thing was that I bought back was this thing that allows you to plug it into the PS1 and play four players. And that was kind of cool to find. I think that's what it's supposed to do. If I had another one of those, it would be eight players. <laughs> I don't even know if eight players would exist. This will expand the multiplayer experience. You could use this to charge <coughs> either the Game Boy Advance SP or the either the Game Boy Advance SP or the Nintendo DS original, which is the blue one I have. And lastly, but not leastly. I can't wait to use all this 
stuff. And there were some other things I wanted. Most of the N64 games were just sports games like NBA or Madden 98 or stuff like that. There was one third. light green xbox but it was expensive and i mean expensive expensive like i think it was one of the more rarer xbox is i don't mean the 360 i mean the classic like it was light green see through there were also some ps2s i want I also wanted a PS2, but it was kind of expensive, so I passed. You said it worked, but I didn't want to waste so much money in a day. I want to make the money last longer. There was even some PS1, there were even some stuff in there I wanted, like a PS1. Model 1 controllers, like I don't mean those DualShock ones that I have for my Model 2. I wanted the original one. Those, those one attached to a PS1, but the guy didn't really want me to take it out so I could buy it separate. I even asked to see how much the PS1 was, and he was selling it for 20 and I don't even know if it worked. <coughs> there was some stuff I want. I was going to buy an N64 controller, but then later on, I, no, I found out it was one of those plug and play thingies, and it wasn't even a real N64 controller. Like this one. There was even one of those Genesis controllers. Like the three button one, except it had six buttons A, B, C, A, B, C. I don't think it was made by Mad Cats. That was another thing I wanted. And it was the SNES adapter to plug into the SNES. I did want to also look through some PSP stuff, but it turns out I'm not the only customer in that store who buys video games. It appears some picker tries to get his way in there and buy the stuff. Like it turns out some picker gets there and bought uh, and reserved the SNES games before I even got there. And that's gotta be the worst I've ever seen. So let's just wrap this up and I'll do a short little recap. And that's it. And I'll see uh next time we go hunting.